Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to take a look at trying to get an optical mouse attached to the venerable Atari 2600 and play some games with it. Now, admittedly, you wouldn't want to play 99% of Atari games with a mouse, especially games with perpetual motion. It would just be horrible. But there are a few which may benefit from using a mouse. I'm thinking single screen games with a single sprite that you move around quickly in multiple directions. Think arcade games that used to use a trackball. In fact, the game we're going to try this out with today is one of those such arcade trackball games, Missile Command. But before we get started with that demonstration, let's do a little history. So the Atari 2600 was so popular in the first few years that it came out that many other game consoles and computers used its 9-pin controller port. One of those companies was Commodore, which used this port in its 8-bit computer line, the VIC-20, the Commodore 64, and the Commodore 128. Now, Commodore made two mice for their 8-bit computer lines, the 1350 and the 1351. The 1350 looked like a regular mouse, but it was not a proportional analog mouse that we're used to today. It was, in fact, just a joystick, basically. It could only work in eight directions, either on or off, and of course the mouse buttons would double as fire buttons. And this theoretically would work with any game console or computer that used Atari's controller port for its joysticks. Next, Commodore made the 1351 mouse, and while this looked the same as the 1350, it was in fact an actual proportional analog mouse, but it was hardware dependent on the Commodore 64 and the 128. It would not work with anything else. However, this mouse had a secret. If you held down the right mouse button while you turned on your Commodore 64 or 128, it would go into 1350 mode and become a digital joystick type mouse again. In theory, this also then could be used with any game console or computer that used the Atari port for its joysticks. Now, that's great, but what does that have to do with getting an optical mouse working with the 2600? So those Commodore 1351 mice are very expensive to get now. They're usually in poor shape and they weren't that great to begin with. So if you had a C64-128 and you wanted to use a mouse with it, one thing you can do is get this little adapter here, which lets you use a relatively more modern PS2 mouse, or even a PS2 optical mouse, and connect it to the 9-pin controller port of your C64 or 128. Now, I bought this a couple years ago. I don't remember exactly what store I got it from. It's very common. A lot of electronic online stores have it. eBay has it. But I did ask the guy that I bought it from if this had the same trick that a real 1351 mouse had and that you could hold down the right mouse button and go into uh, 1350 mode. He didn't know. But honestly, this wasn't that expensive, so I went ahead and bought it, and I kind of put it away for a couple years until I got a 2600 to try this out with. So what I'm going to do is plug this into the back of the Atari in the controller port, and then we're going to attach it to this optical mouse here, and see if we can play some missile command with it. So, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to hold down the right mouse button and turn on the Atari. And let's start a game. Wow, look at that, it works. That's crazy. is very responsive. I'm only moving this like centimeters and it's very, very responsive. I know this is not an analog mouse, but it sure feels like one. I'm also able to stop better. I always feel like I'm overshooting left or right with the joystick.
Yeah, it's like a knife to butter. Let's do one more. Wow, that's just amazingly easy. Well, that was great. Now, I was able to try all of this out ahead of time before I actually purchased this Atari 2600 because I have one of these Atari to USB adapters and I was able to plug it into my Macintosh and run this whole setup through emulation. And that allowed me to try out games I don't have cartridges for. So I did Centipede and Millipede and I thought those were great and definitely benefited from having a mouse. I also tried Crystal Castles because that was another arcade game that had a trackball, but I didn't find the mouse helped out on the 2600 version of that. In fact, it was probably a little worse than the joystick in my opinion. Another game I had high hopes for was Star Wars the Arcade Game. Now, I'm a Gen Xer. I'm used to an inverted axis pulling down to go up, all the things that drive my son crazy and his friends. But even on that game with the mouse, I was wishing it wasn't inverted. I felt like the... Uh, shooting cursor should have gone up when I moved the mouse up and I didn't find using a mouse to be helpful in that game at all but your mileage may vary on that game. One other thing I want to talk about if you want to replicate this at home is to be careful on what kind of PS2 mouse you buy because the first mouse I had for quite a while when I was planning this out was this Logitech PS2 mouse here and when I got it it did not work with this adapter at all. It fired up, the light came on, all of that, but it just didn't work. And I know from what little I've read about this adapter, you can't use USB mice with it in those little green passive adapters. They used to ship with USB mice back at the turnover in the late 90s, early 2000s when mice were transitioning to USB. What I found also is that some of those late model PS2 optical mice are electrically USB mice. And they also came with the reverse passive adapter when you bought them and you plug them in and then you could plug them into a USB port. I think that's what's going on with this mouse. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's why it didn't work. So I had to go try to find an adequately old PS2 optical mouse that was new in the box that didn't mention anything about USB or having an adapter for USB, and that one worked perfectly. So keep that in mind if you want to try this out at home. Well, that's going to do it for this video. As always, if you're enjoying this channel, please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon, but that's all for now. Take care.